All right, so in this video, I'm going to overview some notes that's going to be the basic philosophy or rundown of how to set up your PPC when your product hits stock and you're ready to launch it. I'm just going to go over my notes as quickly and efficiently as possible to cover all the main points. You may not know what some of these th things are yet, but you will know soon. This is not going to be a screen share walkthrough um, that will uh, be that will take longer. This is just a quick run through of what to know and uh, hopefully everything will make sense later. So um, check the attached uh, notes um, because I will be adding updates to this quite possibly and probably. Um, so the traditional route has been in Amazon to run one auto campaign and one manual campaign. And this is what I set up, actually three campaigns, an auto campaign, a manual campaign, and a manual exact match campaign. So an auto campaign is when you just tell Amazon, here's my product, advertise it for me. And its own algorithm determines which keywords it should be boosted to the top of the rank uh, ranks for. Manual research campaigns is where you tell Amazon, okay, for these keywords, X, Y, Z, boost me to the top of the rankings. Uh, and for manual exact, it's uh, even more dialed in where it has to be these exact key, this exact search term. With manual, it can be uh, broad. So let's say I'm selling a laptop stand, like I'm, I'm using one now. If I in manual research campaign, if I type in, hey, Amazon, boost me for the for the keyword laptop stand, and it's under broad match, that means any customer searching for laptop stand roost or laptop stand minimal or big laptop stand or metal laptop stand, you will potentially win the bid uh, and get boosted for those terms. Whereas manual exact campaign, you tell Amazon, hey, boost me only for minimal laptop stand and also boost me for only foldable, lightweight laptop stand, exactly. Make sense? So the auto campaign, I place a minimum, medium bid, manual campaign, medium bid, and the exact match campaign for a high bid because these are gonna be our most obvious targeted keywords. Does that make sense? And these ones are obviously gonna be in your title, in your bullet points everywhere. Which is, by the way, that's how Amazon knows about your product and which keywords its algorithm is gonna boost you for based on what's on your title and your bullet points and description and backend. Makes sense, right? For the keywords that you're really sure about, you wanna make sure you get boosted for those. So you put on a high bid. Um, how it works is inside the, the backend, you set a daily budget for each of these campaigns and a uh, default bid, like $1, $2 per click. For all of this Amazon PPC stands for pay per click. We're paying Amazon to boost us to the top of the search results. It will have a little sponsored tag right there. And every time someone clicks, we pay that dollar or $2 or 50 cents or whatever, depends. Your budget should, it depends on how aggressive you wanna go, 30 bucks a day, maybe 50 bucks a day or if you have a limited smaller budget, 10 bucks a day. The more money you pay Amazon, the more eyeballs you're gonna get. This is buying eyeballs. That's it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go some notes here on things to take note of and come back to this later uh, if it doesn't make sense yet. Um, inside of Amazon's auto campaign, after it runs for a while, it's you're gonna be able to download a search terms report, which gives you a spreadsheet, uh, an Excel file of a bunch of search terms that you um, got views for and whether people uh, clicked 
and buy it. So conversion rate, uh, click through rate, etc., and average cost of sale. So if your product cost was, if your product sells for ten dollars, and it cost you, uh, th it it took three clicks at a dollar each to get a sale. Um, then you, that would cost you three dollars out of ten, and your A cost would be thirty percent. Thirty percent is in general pretty good, but obviously it depends on your margin. Um, so don't add all of those keywords. Um, look through the keyword reports, and you just got to have common sense on which ones to keep and which ones not. If it's relative to your, to your product or not. Think about in the customer's mind, would someone typing in that search term be looking and want to buy my product? Be thinking about that. Um, if it's suggesting long tail keywords, then it's likely that uh, your SEO is is uh, already good for that and you may be ranking already organically for that term. So you may not need to bet, bet on that, to bid on that because you may be already being seen organically. Okay, so your research campaign. Uh, this meet this auto campaign and the manual campaign are kind of your research campaigns. So um, what you want to do is take your uh, best, most obvious two keyword search term or keyword and as it as a phrase exact keyword. This would be a great research tool to see what long tail keywords containing these two words convert. So for example, laptop stand. You can add it as a phrase mash, so anything containing laptop and stand plus anything else, laptop stand blue, laptop stand minimal, it's going to, um, you're going to be boosted for keywords containing laptop and stand together only. And of course, don't forget to add negative keywords. So if I'm selling a foldable um, kind of uh, cardboard-like fabric one that I'm using right now, I want to add the keyword metal as negative because someone searching for metal, they're not going to buy mine because they're looking for metal. If they're looking for standing laptop stand, they're not looking for mine because this is not a standing laptop stand. It's just meant for the desk. It doesn't like raise all the way up. For example, if your product is for dogs, add cats as negative. If your product is for women, um, if, if it's for men, as w add women as negative. If it's black, add white and all the other colors as negative. So there could be dozens and dozens of um, negative keywords. That's telling Amazon, hey, if someone has this word in their search term, don't boost me. Pro tip, add your brand name as a negative keyword and add uh, a separate campaign containing your keywords with your brand name. This is a pro tip because let's say your uh, brand name is Moft, like the laptop stand I'm using. If you have a bunch of terms like La Moft laptop stand in your, um, in your campaigns, those are obviously going to be really high converting keywords because people are looking for your exact brand. So it's going to skew the results towards more positive. So keep your brand keywords with your brand name and a separate campaign uh, for the exact match aggressive campaign keep in mind um, obviously you're betting on the most obvious keywords maybe five or so so if it's a bamboo garden fountain add bamboo garden fountain um, water fountain zen fountain garden fountain bamboo fountain so all of the uh, obvious most obvious ones keep the default bid relatively high it's like 75 cents but again, bids is all relative, depends on your competitiveness and the price of your product, et cetera. And keep the um, top of page bid adjustment relatively high, like 50%. You'll see what that means later. Uh, for the auto campaign, some tips. Um, the goal is just to turn this on and check back to see what keywords are doing well and which are not doing well. So every, every week, come back in and add some more negative keywords um, that you think of or that are displaying via uh, the search terms report that are not converting, add those as negative. Uh, just learn and uh, the keywords that are doing the best, 
move those over to the higher bidding campaigns, okay, the manual campaigns. Um, for competitor ASINs, if uh, in the search term report, if you see an ASIN, uh, it means that the shopper clicked on the sponsored products related to this item section, um, and you are you were displaying in a, a competitor's listing somewhere down there at the bottom in that sponsored products related to this item. Um, if your ASINs, if those aren't converting, um, you can only lower the bid. You can't add them as negative as of now. If they are converting, um, you can add brand names to the back of your keywords. Um, adding brand names is prohibited, actually. Yeah, that's what I say. Adding brand names is prohibited, so make sure you don't do that. You'll get flagged. Um, but what you can do from um, competitor ASINs that your product is converting well for uh, on their page is take note of those competitors. Um, look at look at what their offer is and what their product is and think why are shoppers buying mine over theirs and maybe try to double down on those selling points um, about why those shoppers are on the competitors listing they're clicking yours and they're buying yours emphasize that even more and uh, for keywords that are not converting in search terms report of course um, add all keywords to negative that makes sense to add to negative um, negative exact and or negative phrase um, for example if it's you're selling a water fountain add statue as a negative phrase so any search term containing statue will not show up um, and it will also knock out plur statues so that's a general thing in PPC uh, don't worry about the S at the end of the word. Amazon treats those as the same. And you could, again, you could potentially be needing to add hundreds of keywords. Um, also, if you have variations, like different colors, sizes, um, this is case by case, so feel free to ask questions. Um, but uh, a lot of people find it easier to have um, a different auto campaign uh, for each variation, if it makes sense. Uh, you got to think about c colors. Are people th searching for specific colors? Is, does that make sense for my product? Would people search for the colors um, or, or sizes, etc.? So if it makes sense, it could possibly make sense to have your uh, variations split up. Um, and then let's say this is um, also have one auto campaign if you do have separate campaigns for variation also have one auto campaign with every variation uh, with a low bid that you could potentially rank um, as a sponsored listing on page two or beyond okay that was the um, PPC overall philosophy again it's just paying Amazon to boost your product to the top and to that little sponsored box. It could be on page one, it could be on page two. Amazon is always uh, um, experimenting with different placements and different things. Their whole business, as is every business, is a big A-B test. Um, but that's the overall philosophy. And then I see other videos on the walkthroughs of uh, the nitty gritty inside the trenches. All right.